Welcome back. In this third video, we'll be taking a deeper look at the Places Designer. Places are location-based content which is displayed on your map as pins. When the user selects a pin, it will expand to show a card with more information displayed about that place. Place cards can be extended to include custom HTML content, allowing users to view and interact with the place. For example, the meeting room places in our office building show their availability through a web page that could be booked directly from this place view. To begin creating places, we first need to create a new places collection. This presents us with a dialog pop-up. Here we can give our places collection a name and choose which apps have access to that collection. Let's call this collection Fave Lunch Places. We can add a places collection to as many different apps as we like. This could be useful for things like special offers which may be applied to one or more of your maps. Once we have confirmed our places collection, we can begin creating places. Searching for a place will allow us to jump to a location where we want to start creating places. Let's find Dundee, then drop a place here at the Tinsmith, one of our favourite lunch venues. Now, over on the right hand panel, we can add information about our place. The first tab lets us give the place a title and tags. Let's call the place the Tinsmith and paste in an image URL. Then set up its tags. Tags allow you to categorize places which make them easier for your users to find. Let's go ahead and add some categories to make the Tinsmith easy to find. Let's add beer, food and drink, sports and leisure, and then move food and drink to the top of the list and delete the general tag. The icon at the top of the list will define the icon that will represent this place on the map. So moving food and drink to the top of the tags list will mean the Tinsmith displays a knife and fork icon on the map rather than the beer glass icon of the beer tag. The tags list also orders the importance by which the Tinsmith is listed in the search results. For example, it will get a higher search result listing for food and drink than sport. While we provide a range of tags for you to choose from, you can also define your own tags. Let's create a lunch favourite tag. Moving down to the contact tab, we can enter all of the contact details for the Tinsmith, including social media links. The description tab allows us to add fuller descriptions on the place. We'll mention it's one of our favourites. The location details tab lists the actual latitude and longitude values and you can input your own values to fine-tune positions. Finally, the JSON Editor tab allows you to configure the details of your place in code if you wish. We can also use this tab to attach your own HTML to a place, but we'll cover that in another video. At the top of the right-hand panel, we can use the Preview button to see how our place view looks to the users of our map. We can also delete a place, and over on the left-hand panel, we can edit and delete place collections. We'll show a pop-up window asking you to confirm before we delete any of your places. So in this video, we've seen how to create place collections and add collections to our maps, as well as adding places, tagging them so they can be discovered and fine-tuning their content. In the next video, we'll look at customizing your maps in more detail.